done and then we'll go from there. Who knows, maybe I'll get another one. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, August 20th. It is almost 9.30 in the morning. Just finished getting ready for church. I'm going to go to church this morning because we went to the fair yesterday. So I didn't get a chance to go yesterday, so I'm going to go today. Oh, be quiet, trash can. We finally got our trash can fixed. Well, we put the lid back on and fixed it. Today, for church, I'm wearing this shirt that I got from Walmart and my Levi jeans that I also got from Walmart last week. I believe I vlogged it. And then my gold initial necklace. There's a K on it as well as a heart on the other side. My, like, what do you call it? Same color as this earrings. And then one of the things that I got from the fair is this bracelet that has a, a little dolphin as the charm. It's just something really simple. I saw I saw a little boutique. I grabbed that. That was, you know, one of the things that I grabbed at the fair. But like I said, I'll talk more about the fair either tomorrow or later. But right now I gotta eat breakfast so I can take my fluoxetine. It's now 9.37. I just finished breakfast. And I'm just, um, just waiting around, letting my food digest. I just took my fluoxetine. Uh, overall, I had a really good time at the fair. Um, we got there a bit later than planned, like 3.30, because of parking. There was a small issue with parking. Sorry, our table is a little wobbly. It does that on occasion. This table gets a little wobbly, but, um... <clears throat> We got there a bit late because of parking. There was a big line for parking and then a small issue of finding where to park. <laughs> um, eventually we did get in. We actually had free passes to get in this year, so we didn't have to pay extra to get in, which was totally fine. Um, we just enjoyed ourselves. The weather was super nice. It literally felt like fall yesterday, actually. There was a nice breeze, and typically last year when we went, it was extremely hot. It was like 97 degrees and super sunny all day, ridiculously hot, insane. But this, this year was the most perfect fair day to go because there was a breeze. It's up in the mountains. Ultima is up in the mountains. So there was a nice breeze. It was pretty sunny and just comfortable and fun to be out. There's a better view of a dolphin piece, and then it's just this, like, white stone bracelet right there. But, pardon my finger, but there's what it fully looks like. Today is obviously, like, a recuperating chill day. I'm gonna go to church. Church doesn't start until 10.30, so I'm gonna leave here probably around... Five after ten or so usually is when I go. Is it morning? I don't even know. Is this the morning? It is, but it's a Monday morning. So. I play the video as you can see. Quickly got dressed, rolled out of bed. And it's only 9.15 in the morning. I have to go. Like, I'm going to be wearing this also. Just to cover me up so that I don't get sunburned or anything. Um, but I have to go to the bank today. So I feel like I kind of overdid it yesterday. With taking that super long walk to the library. And being out till almost 3 p.m. Or a little bit after three by the time with my pace by the time I got back. I think I overdid it just a little bit. Today 
with it being Monday, I am going to take it easy with this vlog up. But, um, kind of for us tomorrow, I'm going to be doing laundry. Laundry tomorrow. And I think I can swing it one more day. Um, one more day. And then I'll just do the laundry tomorrow. <laughs> it's Pikachu and if you go like this he claps <laughs> isn't that that's awesome when I saw this and actually I when I won this at a game made my hair a lot crazier, but it's okay. I haven't brushed it yet or put earrings in or anything. So it's okay. It's only Monday. Just got home a little while ago. Look at this. Hold on. Look at this poor hat. I need to try to clean it. It's from sweating. Look at that. Yeah, that is from sweating. I'm going to try using a clean sponge and some paper towels to clean it because it is a really good hat. I really do like it for the summer. But, you know, um, it has been used for multiple summers since we've lived here. Um, so I'm going to try to clean that. It is 12, uh, almost 1230. I have to edit. I have to put my Duncan away. I got a a uh, crazed caramel latte at Dunkin and a muffin. Okay, my burger's almost done. Actually, should be done fairly shortly. Can do another flip. And see about it. Almost done. It's almost done. I've got some laundry going. I was gonna do it tomorrow. As you guys know, I stay home a lot. But since I had to put my clothes in my laundry basket anyway, my basket looked full. Anyways, that's going. I've got the burger going. Actually, I'm going to turn this off. Let it just sit under here. Tater tots are still going for another 10 minutes. And I'm also going to have peaches. So that is going to be my lunch. Oh, I think I got up for a Monday and it's such a busy weekend. I think I got up a bit too early, but I mean, I slept like a rock. I went up at 9.30 last night, you guys, and then fell asleep before 11. Typically, I stay up between 11, 11.15, sometimes a bit later after 11.30. But after the weekend that we had, and I, like I said, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I think I overdid it with taking the walk to the library yesterday. I think I overdid it, but <laughs> I still, I had fun. So today I'm just taking it easy. All I did was go to the bank this morning and stopped at Duncan and then I came back home. I have my laundry going and now my lunch is being prepped. I fell asleep though like a rock. I came up at like before 9.45 last night, laid in bed, did my normal routine, brushed my teeth, and then laid down. Before 11, it was like 10 of 11 that I turned off my tablet and was like, yep, I need to go to sleep and I need to go to sleep now. I have not as busy as last week, but I still have things that I would like to do this week. Such as vlogs, trips to the library, which I returned to my books yesterday, but just to go back to the library and pick out new books. Laundry, which I'm currently doing now. And um, a whole bunch of other stuff, you know, planning for my dad's date tattoo, which is going to go right here as well. So that's a lot. I have to plan that out. Hopefully in the next week or two I can do that and get it done. 
to just have this tattoo done and then go from there. Who knows, maybe I'll get another one. I have had the idea to actually get a rose right here. So the opposite of where my dad's cross is. I've had the, the idea to get a pink rose right here. But I haven't fully decided yet. I think it's nice to get a tattoo for myself considering I have the tattoos for my parents. So many people, after I got both tattoos for my parents, people were like, why don't you get a tattoo for you? Something sentimental and something that represents you. And personally, the rose that I looked at, I think represents growth, the way that I've gone through a ton of situations, you know, having to live here for six years. It's been a lot. Um, so I think that the rose definitely recommend um represents sorry represents my growth and i think it would just look really pretty right in this area and just a tad bit smaller than what i'm actually looking at we'll see it's all up in the air right now i'm just going to focus on getting the getting my dad state right here below the cross right here and it's going to be 11 4 17 that's his date and it is i think it's just going to look amazing <sighs> People have come to me also and have said that I think you're going a little crazy with tattoos. But personally, my thing with tattoos is A, I want to be able to see it. Very noisy oven, but uh, we have five minutes left on those, then I'll take them out. But what I was saying was a lot of people think I'm going crazy with tattoos, considering I have this one and then I have my dad's cross on my um, forearm. However, when it comes to me and tattoos, I just think that if you're going to get something on your skin and it's going to be there permanently, that it should be something that represents you and something that should be sentimental and very important. Otherwise, what's the point of getting it if, if it's not important to you and you can't see it? That's my other thing. I mean, no judgment, but there are people that get tattoos like behind their necks, on their backs, and it's like... Ignore my little sunburn I got yesterday. Teeny tiny sunburn right here, but, um, I don't know. That's just me. For a tattoo, I think you should just be able to see it. Lots to think about. Lots to be up in the air. But it's just an idea right now, but it is something that I've been going back and forth about for the past couple of weeks, ever since getting my mom's tattoo, which I'm obsessed with. And we went to the tattoo place, I think it was like last week or the week before. Everything turned out great. Other than that, you know... Tattoo, all the tattoo here healed up beautifully. Gino said it turned out beautiful and it got really, really soft, which is exactly what you want with a tattoo like this. Anyways, like I said, it's all up in the air with everything right now. So hopefully you guys will stick around on my journey. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, I will see you all next time.